Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second race of the NASCAR Xfinity Series here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway for today's Heads Up Georgia 250 for the second race of the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Last race winner at Daytona, Justin Allgaier and the seven Aerox car beat Regan Smith but, uh, the last, last race at Daytona by five, by four, five, six thousands of a second. And we'll start this race in 10th place. Joey Logano in the brand new Hertz paint scheme. And finishes and finished fourth last last place at Daytona. And for the second race in a row, Chris and James will start to get will start this race together. As Brennan Pole in the all new Cobalt Tools car at the frustrating race at Daytona in the Lowe's car. Gets put into the wall by his teammate Minion Fan 1024 at turn one, causing his chance to win the race. And lost the race. Bad luck for the 48 team continues for Jimmy Johnson and Brennan Paul. And Brennan Paul starts this race in last in the Colo Tools. And your driver that will start on the pole today is Daniel Suarez. In the 18 Ares Toyota, alongside his teammate Eric Jones in the 11 FedEx Express Toyota Camry. And Chase Elliott in the 9 car hopefully gets a win today at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. He won the pole here last season for the NASCAR Spring Cup Series, but finished last at the end of the race. Can that change in the Xfinity Series? He had a little bit of success at Daytona, but can he get even more success at the Atlanta Motor Speedway and win the Dash for Cash when we come to Richmond? We'll just have to find out when we get there. At now, as the drivers um, enter their car, now as the drivers climb into their cars, let's send you down trackside to the most famous words in motorsports. With the pre-race news out of the way, let's get you with the most famous words in motorsports. And here to give that command, please welcome Daryl Wallace the Second, aka WrestleMania Thirty Thousand, aka Jimmy Five Johnson on Instagram, as he delivers the most famous words in motorsports. Start your engines. Whoa, you hear that crowd? They're all amped up for the drivers who they sign up for will get to the checker flag. And hopefully, they'll win and will claim a spot into the chase for the Xfinity Series. And another top 10 for the Xfinity Series Dash for Cash at Richmond. And we'll talk about... And I'll talk about the rest when we come back. And I'll, and I'll talk more about it when we come back after this. You're watching the Heads Up Georgia 250 for the NASCAR Xfinity Series at Atlanta. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Heads Up Georgia 250, home of the NASCAR Xfinity Series Racing, live at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. This race is 
Brought to you by Alex. You can get Wi Fi anywhere. Proud sponsor of Daniel Suarez and the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Da and Arca Racing Series. And Carl Edwards. That will be. And Carl Edwards. That will be driving um, the Alex Toyota at Kentucky this season. This Sprint Cup Series. And McDonald's. I'm loving it. Proud sponsor of Jamie McMillan, the NASCAR Spring Cup Series, and Elliot Sadler in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. That is pretty much all of the previous news. With that out of the way, let's take a look at the starting lineup. Find where your favorite driver that you signed up for is starting at Starting Live Stories, presented by ARS Internet. Row 1, Daniel Suarez and Eric Jones, two Joe Gibbs teammates, Daniel Suarez is on the pole. Wade Cook alongside David Starr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Austin Ty Dillon. NASCAR fan 88 alongside Joe Lagana. We have uh, Dale Wallace Jr. and Justin Long by last race winner Daytona. Chase Elliott, the nine car, alongside Chris Busher. We have James Busher and Elliott Sadler. And finally, rounding out the field is the 48 Cobalt car of Brendan Pole. We're underway here in Atlanta. We're green. Eric Jones will pull away and will lead lap one. Here comes David Starr and Joel Lagano to the inside as they make contact. Here comes Ty Dillon with a push from Daniel Suarez. He comes out the block. Here comes Wallace to the inside. And he comes out the block Suarez, but he goes on the wall and gets airborne. And it create the first caution. Here is the replay. What happened? From a push from... Um, Daniel Suarez pushing Eric Jones to the front. Here comes Joel Logano and David Starr to the inside. As David, Joel Logano comes up a little bit, gets into David Starr. David Starr gets into Eric, and that create, creates um, the chain reaction to make him loose. Eric didn't hit the, did not hit the wall, and David Starr keeps off the wall. Logano pulls ahead. Here comes Ty Dillon from a push from um, Suarez. Comes up the block. Here comes Daryl Wallace in the inside. Three wide. And tries to come up to block Daniel Suarez in the 18 car, but that didn't end up in him. He comes up to block Daniel Suarez too late, goes around and goes into the turn four wall. As we go to the restart of two laps to go, we got James Bush on the 29 Ream car gaining for another win of the NASCAR Xfinity Series alongside him. Um, the Daytona winner, Justin Allgaier. Justin Allgaier leads the point standings, and he will, um, and he might go back to back if he can block James Busher, Elliott Sadler, and Daniel Suarez from winning this race. As last season and last year in June 2015, Dale Earnhardt Jr., season three, last season in the Diecast Racing Series. He won here in the Spring Cup Series. He won here in the Spring Cup Series last year and last season. But he is running in last place. So I guess the glow of the winner circle can fade fast for Dale Jr. In fact, for any driver. And as I said, poor finishes, even though when Jr. has a strong performance, Poor finishes are still the name of the game from G for Dale Jr. and other drivers, no matter what. But at least Dale Earnhardt Jr. is currently in third place in the NASCAR Xfinity, Xfinity Series point standings, which is a good thing. Two laps here for the checker flag. Restart is out. Justin O'Guy in the lead. Elliott's out in the lead. Brennan Pole to the inside. White flag's out. He might get the win, but Chase Elliott going to the inside. He's going inside, and hometown hero wins at Atlanta and his hometown. Chase Elliott wins round two here in Atlanta, the NASCAR Xfinity Series. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. finishes in the back of the pack. And Dale Earnhardt Jr., after he won at this track last season, finishes in the back of the pack. 
But um, last season in the Diecast Racing Series, Chase Elliott in the NASCAR Spring Cup Series um, finishes in last. He finished last place here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway in the Cup Series last season. But this, but this season in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, he finishes in first. Hometown hero wins at Atlanta Motor Speedway and will win round two of the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Chase Elliott, the young and rising star of Jeff Gordon and many others. And, of course, his father, Bill Elliott. The previous Xfinity Series race was at Daytona for round one as Chase Elliott um, cut, make, makes a sneak it passes Mean Fan 1024 on the inside to take the lead <coughs> to take the lead and leads a lap and from here it looks like Chase Elliott has this race won. Gets a push from Michael Waltrip, but here comes the field. And Chase Elliott possibly could win the race, but he he ends up losing the race, finishing in 6th place. And on the 1st of April, 2016, it was announced that Chase Elliott was going to make the is going to make the Sprint Unlimited after 10 fan votes were just in that day. And on May 21st, 2016, Chase Elliott made the Sprint Unlimited under the lights at Daytona International Speedway. This was the second race of Daytona Speed Weeks and started on the pole. Last lap, Chase Elliott leads the last lap when the Big red could when Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart and Dale Jr. make contact with each other. And Chase Elliott and Chase Elliott comes across the line in first place, winning the winning segment one of the Sprint Unlimited. In segment two, going for the checker flag, Chase Elliott had Three more laps, and guess what? He will win the race. The second segment, um, it was just pack racing. Chase Elliott and other drivers just kept on doing two-car tandem, doing pack racing, and running on high and low side, and swapping positions. Trading positions means trading paint. Am I right? And Chase Elliott gets the lead from Brad Keselowski from a push from Denny Hamlin and leads the lap. Um, switch over to Kyle Busch, but that just was bad luck for Chase Elliott as Danny Hamlin was out of shape and gets into the wall. Chase Elliott nowhere to go and had seconds, had one millisecond to react and just gets involved. In the can aim duel, bad luck just kept on getting worse for Chase Elliott. Bad luck just kept on coming his way. As he finishes the race in 12th place. And you have to finish in the top 10 in the first dual race. Chase Elliott winding up finishing 12th. And was one of the drivers sideline for the day 2500. And packed his bags going home. Season 3 was also a new chapter for Chase Elliott. As his first ever Spring Cup start. And his first ever career start in the Diecast Racing Series was at Phoenix International Raceway for round two of the NASCAR Spring Cup Series for the uh, for the Quicken Loans 500 Race for Heroes presented by the new Disney Pixar movie Inside Out in that day, in that race. And the race didn't turn out as planned as... Chase Elliott spins up Denny Hamlin, goes out to the outside. NASCAR fan it was there, nowhere to go, and he gets involved. And for the majority of races, Chase Elliott um, finishes the race without any DNFs last season. His only DNFs were the Sprint Unlimited and uh, the Quicken Loans 500 Race for Heroes presented.